Hey guys, it's Thomas Pam again with another RPG Maker subscriber question. If you guys have any questions about how to use the program, or would like to discuss anything about it, go to my channel, then click on Discussions at the very top. So his question is, there is a sprite set that looks like it can be animated. How do you make it look active? Before we talk about this, I need to make sure that you do understand a thing or two about sprite and character animations. Double click on any event, then go to Image. Now go ahead and select any character set that you want. You'll notice that these character sets are in a grid of 3 by 4. What this basically is, is that if you're pressing down, this animation will play versus left, right, and up. So let's use that knowledge to your advantage. Go ahead and select one of the character sets that looks like it has an animation. This crystal, for example. Once you select the crystal, click OK, then look at the options at the bottom left. If you choose walking, the middle frame will always play. Stepping will allow you to make it look like it is actually walking or animating, so it'll play the middle frame, the right frame, middle, left, middle, and right, and go over and over again. Direction Fix will always play the frame that you select, and Through will make it look like that you could pass under the frame. It doesn't actually look like that the Pentagon frame that you were looking at earlier is actually animated. It does have different sprites in different directions, so you could technically animate it this way if you want, so maybe you want this frame to play, this frame, then this frame. To achieve this, you kind of have to work with a little trickery. I'll show you how to do that. So before we select this frame, let's look at a different character set. Remember, the characters are always looking down, left, right, and up to achieve this kind of animation. If you do it this way though, a regular character will look like they're spinning. But when you switch back to door, it'll look like that it's playing this animation here. So let's go ahead and select it, and create a new event. Let's go to movement, Go to Set Movement Route. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you select this event at the very top left. Then make sure you select Turn Down, Turn Left, Turn Right, then Turn Up. Then I always like to put a delay between the frames. So let's do maybe 15 frames within a second. And then let's copy this to every single frame. Click OK. Make sure that the priority and triggers are exactly how you want them. So if you want it below your character, if you want the trigger to just uh, when you actually press something, click OK, and let's test. So you can see, it's animating. Now, I can't move while this animation is going. To fix this, you want to go back to your animation. You'll see that the movement route is set to wait. Let's edit that, and take out wait for completion. Click OK. And now, it should just be able to play anytime you activate this. If you want this to keep going though, as in keep repeating, you could always change autonomous movement to custom, change the route to exactly what we have there. It should do the same thing, but repeat over and over again.